What is up, Thrashers, and welcome to the season finale of 2016 Thrash Reviews, where yours truly, Thrash Maniac 99, continues to review upcoming hard rock and heavy metal albums in the calendar year of 2016. And for the grand finale, I get to an album I missed in late September, came out the same day as Opeth Sorceress, and this is Epica's seventh album, I believe I'm right in that. Yes, seventh album called The Holographic Principle. For those who don't know, Epica is a symphonic metal band that formed in 2002 under the direction of Mark Jansen on guitars and death growls after he was out of the band After Forever and recruited members such as Simone Simons on lead vocals and plenty of other members and they make some epic, bombastic, symphonic metal with some prog, maybe a tad bit of gothic and a little power metal thrown into the mix, and a little mellow death with Mark Jansen's vocals. Uh, but with that said, this is their seventh album on Nuclear Blast Records. I'm going to go ahead and say Nuclear Blast Records has been the label of the year because of so many damn good albums that have come out from that label. Meshuggah, Testament, Despised Icon, so many others I can't think of off the top of my head, but they came from that label. Oh, Opeth. Funny enough, Opeth came out of this label this year. So, with this album being a concept album about a universe that is digitally, gen that is a digitally generated hologram, which is an interesting kind of theme they're going for here, but they're making it somewhat like a cinematic kind of album. So let's get into it. After the uh, two and a half mad introduction introductionary track, uh, Idola, Idola, Idola. Sometimes I'm terrible at this, and it goes into the song Edge of the Blade. Four and a half minutes of m kind of melodic death metal, thrash metal tempos at times with the epic symphonic uh, uh, orchestral elements and the beautiful vocals of some Simone Simons. Not only is she one of the most beautiful women in metal, but she is one of the most talented women in metal. Her voice goes above and beyond. It goes into like sounding uh, kind of like a very good pop singer to sometimes the operatic stuff. And she showcases her talents on this album and on this opening track kicking things off in high gear, but then we get to Universal Death Squad, where you get the first instances of Mark Jansen's death metal vocals being showcased uh, a little bit more than you would think. And just, wow, dark lyrics right here. After all, it's going into that theme of a digitally generated holograph holographic universe. And then it gets into the track Divide and Conquer, one of the longer tracks, had nearly eight minutes. Very proggy, if I do say so myself, as far as how they structured this song. It wasn't like the other tracks of the album. Um, and again, Simone Simons' voice just gives it that very uh, beautiful atmosphere to what is a heavy track, but also a soft track at times as well. Hell, that's what the whole album is all about. And then we get to the epic closing track, the title track, The Holographic Principle, a profound understanding of reality, a prog symphonic metal track, 11 and a half minutes. It just pretty much combines everything that they did on the previous 11. I think this is the track where you hear Mark Jansen's death metal voice a lot more, and Simone Simons' beautiful vocals shining through as well, and also you get those thrash tempos at times, you get the uh, softer moments, and so on and so forth. Wow. Overall, to conclude this year for album reviews on this channel, we close out with another strong one. The only complaint I could really think of off the top of my head would be that there are moments where it does get a bit repetitious but hey or repetitive I should say not repetitious but some moments do get slightly repetitive but it's still a hell of an album so you can't go wrong with it 88 out of a hundred 
for the holographic principle by Epica. Highly recommend this album to anyone who likes metal with a little symphonic uh, feel, a little bit of a symphonic feeling behind it. And female vocals, this is definitely for you. Like, I absolutely love this album. So, but stick around because immediately after this, it'll be the 10 albums that I, top 10 albums that I missed. There was many albums I missed, but I had to come up with a list of 10 that I absolutely wanted to check out, but never got around to it. And since tonight was the deadline, it's done. But anyways, peace out, and have a good night, and see you in a bit.